guys, today I want to share with you my April favorite. And with that being said, um, I want to take a little momento and talk to you guys about how I want to do my April favorites from um from now on. Um, I want to start combining two months together because I don't feel like I buy enough products to be able to give you guys like a legit April favorites, me favorites, who, whoever favorites. And so yeah, I don't feel like I buy enough favorites from one month to the next month. And I usually feel like it takes me a lot longer than two, two weeks or three weeks to actually know if I really like something and with that being said the products that i have here today to share with you guys they are my favorites they're just not necessarily april favorites but i've had these products for a long time so i'm able to say oh yeah that's my favorites and like i said i don't want to do a video just for the sake of doing a video because to me in all honesty i just feel like that's just stupid so i'm not going to tell you oh these are my favorites if they're really not my favorites so yeah oh yeah and no i do not have any polish on just kind of like my face i like to let my nails breathe so yes stay in your seat don't panic i am not wearing polish so yeah let's jump into the favorites my very first favorite is the body shop almond nail cream and look at this if this doesn't say favorite then I don't know what says favorite. Um, I tend to be a germaphobe and I wash my hands a lot. And when I when I was washing my hands so much, they were drying out really bad. And the lotions at Bath and Body Works just really weren't doing it for me. So I went to the body shop, she gave me this. This is amazing. It's like a drink of water for my hands. My hands feel so moisturized when I wear this and it actually smells really, really good. I clearly need to get some more because this is mangled. And sticking on the subject, sticking on the subject, sticking on the subject with things that make my body, body parts. I don't know. Things that moisturize different parts of my body. That sounds weird. I know. Let's just move on. These Nivea lip butters. I actually have all three. The raspberry one is downstairs in my purse. The ones that I have here today are the caramel or caramel uh, cream kiss and the vanilla and macadamia kiss. These are so amazing. I love this. And I don't like the smell of vanilla, but this isn't overpowering to where it like bothers me. But I like these better than the EOS that everybody and their mama and grandma and grandpa have. I love these so, so, so much. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So moisturizing. My lip loves them. My lips love them. And I love them. Moving on, my new favorite gel liner is by Wet n Wild. I actually heard about this from Tati Tatiana Ward here on YouTube. Her YouTube channel is called Beat Face Honey. This is just in black. Um, it's so creamy. It glides on. I absolutely love this stuff. Um, you should definitely check out her channel. If I'm not mistaken, she is right now, or she was. I'm um, traveling with Brandy, the singer, being her makeup artist. And yeah, it took me forever to find this. But when I finally found this, I was like, yes, I love this. And prior to this, I was using the e.l.f. one. But this is so much better than the e.l.f. one. And sticking on the... um. Wet n Wild products. Um, this is a Wet n Wild blush and Mellow Wine. I really, really like this because it's a nice rosy color and I feel like it could go for any skin tone and it just gives you a nice red, but not too red where you look like somebody's grandma like pinched your cheeks. And it's not, um, it has it has no shimmer in it. it, has no shimmer in it. It's a nice matte color because when you have shimmer in it, you just look like you're 12. And my next favorite is this uh, Real Technique Multi Tash Brush. This brush is so soft. I love this brush. I love this brush so, so much. It's so soft. Um, 
this brush and the stippling brush are my absolutely favorite. I use this brush to blend, I use this blush to blend my blush, my contour, and my highlight, and it's marvelous, I love it. Favorite multi-task brush. Next, I have two mascaras. I'm one of those girls that I love spider lashes, and because I love spider lashes, I will wear five different mascaras at one time. Yes, that is a bit excessive, a bit excessive, but I like spider lashes, and I have a mascara buying problem, so I don't know why. It's just something about mascara where I feel like I have to have it. And this is the Rimmel London Last Accelerator. I love this mascara so much. Um the bristles on this the bristles on this one are a little kind of kind of compact and kind of small, but I like that. I use this as a top coat. And because I use it as a top coat, I feel like it gives it kind of acts like a comb for my lashes because like I said I wear five different mascaras so I wear it as, as a top coat so I'm, I feel like my lashes are kind of getting like a comb effect so if any of them do start to clump this comes in and saves the day same thing with this one I use it as a top coat this one is more of a rubbery wand and not only is it rubbery but the bristles are kind of like little spikes but I still like that because it like I said I use it as a top coat and it gives my um, lashes kind of like that comb through effect so I don't feel like my um, lashes are like all clump and stuck together and my very last favorite is the purity one step facial cleanser I use this when I use my Clarisonic pour it on my little Clarisonic head wash my face do what I need to do um I don't use my Clarisonic every day. I know a lot of people do. I don't because sometimes I feel like the brush head can be a little too hard on my face. The only time I use my Clarisonic is when I wear makeup because I obviously want to make sure I get all that makeup, that deep clean feel. And this actually does give you that deep clean feel. It even says deep, deep cleans pores and eliminates makeup buildup. And it pretty much does that. And that's the only time I use this is when I use my Clarisonic and I only use like I said before I only use that when I wear makeup so that's all my product favorites um one last thing that I want to talk to you guys about being my favorite um this isn't necessarily a ooh this is my favorite beauty guru favorite um this is more of what this person does um, I'm not sure if you guys, I know some of you watch Emily Noel. Um, I actually really like her. And on Thursday mornings at 10 o'clock Eastern time, she does this thing called Beauty Broadcast Live. Where she pretty much does a live chat. Um, she talks about makeup. She just talks about life. She just talks about really anything and everything. And I absolutely love that she does that. Because, I don't know if someone's going to take offense to this, but honestly, I, I I don't know. If you're going to take offense to this, then I'm sorry that you're offended by this. But I feel, sometimes I feel like a lot of higher ranking makeup people on YouTube don't really take out the time to make their viewers or subbies or whatever they call us or whatever. Um, I feel like a lot of them don't take out a lot of time to make us... Feel, I don't know acknowledged or loved or whatever you want to call it but she does you know she doesn't have to do this on Thursday morning she could be doing whatever but she does this and she's one of those gurus if you want to call it whatever I, I, I don't know um, she's one of those higher ranking youtubers where she actually does make you feel like oh she does care and she does know that I'm here and she doesn't just look at me as another subscriber number. And so yeah, like I said, she does Beauty Broadcast Live. I I, th I think it's fantastic that she does that. Um, cause like I said before, she doesn't have to do that. 
and I think it's great that she does that and I think it's great that she makes her viewers feel like that she actually honestly does care and yeah I like that about Emily so yeah like I said um I'll leave uh Tatiana's info down below and Emily's as well and all the products will be in the description bar as well so if you want you can check those out sorry I didn't have a lot of products to share with you guys but like I said I'm not gonna do a video just for the sake of doing a video if I'm gonna call something my favorite then I legit want it to be my favorite and on that note we're done okay ignore me I know I'm weird anyway so yeah guys until next time, take care because I don't care. <laughs>